All right, so we're going to do an M1 Mac Mini benchmark and an Intel Mac Mini benchmark. We're going to gather those benchmarks, compare them, show you which device is faster in all these different areas. We're going to do a boot time to desktop test. We're going to do a disk speed test, and we're going to do a Geekbench test, which will give us a ton of different data. Let's start off with the boot time test. By booting up the Mac, we're going to get to the desktop. The test ends when we get the dock and the menu bar at the very top, both fully loaded. The timer on the iPhone does end up being a little bit off, so I did calculate the correct time from within the video timestamp. We got an actual time of 25.51 seconds was the actual time for that Intel Mac Mini to boot. I'm going to hook up the M1 Mac Mini real quick and get this situated so that we can start the next test. Reset the timer and let's power this bad boy on. This M1, I'm hoping that it's just that much faster, right? We will see in a short amount of time. Come on M1, how much faster are you? So one of the awesome things about doing these benchmark tests is it allows you to see when certain software impacts a system. So doing a, a software impact analysis is always a good thing. All right, so the actual time was 24.26 seconds. Oh man, 1.25 seconds faster. I was expecting something a little bit better than that, but I kind of understand. And it's just an SSD and uh, both run in the same OS. Let's check out the Intel Mac Mini disk speed test and see how that fares. The Blackmagic disk speed test, we're going to click start and it's going to kick off. I have to click the start button again to stop it. So with this 2018 Intel Mac, we've got 16, 26.9 megabits per, megabytes per second for write speed and 2485.5 megabytes per second read speed. Let's check out the M1 Mac Mini disk speed test and see how it does in comparison. So open up the Black Magic disk speed test and then we're going to go ahead and click that start button and kick off this test. Whoa! 2732.9 for write and 2853.7 for read. Nice. So, yeah, we're definitely looking at faster read speeds and write speeds. So, wow. Over a thousand megabytes per second faster write speed. About 400, just under 400 megabytes per second read speed increase. That is huge. Now let's open up the Intel Mac Mini Geekbench benchmarks. This is going to run a ton of different tests. We're going to run the CPU benchmark first. I do kind of speed through this just so you don't have to wait around and watch it for minutes. So I sped it up, but we will kind of go over the list so you can see it broken down within. All right, so for a single core score, 941, 3998 for a multi-core score. Let's scroll down through this list so you can see all the different numbers for each of the individual tests so that you have this data. I will be breaking down uh, the individual benchmarks um, between these tests uh, later on in the video. All right, so now let's do the compute score for the Intel Mac Mini. We're going to run it. This is the OpenCL compute score. There is also the Metal compute score. So we'll run them both. So we got a 4581 OpenCL score. We'll scroll down, check out what it did for individual test. 
take a peek at that. All right, keep scrolling as we go down. All right, and that final was 4581. And now let's switch it and do the metal test, the compute metal test. And we'll run that compute score and benchmark. And just remember I do speed through this test so it goes a little bit faster than waiting the minutes that it would generally take. All right, 4472 is that metal score on the Intel late 2018 Mac Mini. We'll scroll down through this list just to show you the breakdown of all the individual tests. Sometimes you'll see a comparison in there. All right, now let's move on over to the M1 Mac Mini Geekbench benchmarks. And then we'll be able to run through this comparison between the devices. All right, click the run. And let's speed through this again. It's a uh, Geekbench is just a sweet tool. It really is. I mean, to be able to run all these tests and understand how fast your system is running and just between all your Macs. Um, I believe the Geekbench software was $9.99 for Mac, Linux, or Windows and $14.99 if you want the software that does all three of them. That's for the home user version. I think it was like $99 for the business version or something like that. All right, definitely does a lot of different tests, which is great. And we will head on over and do the compute open CL score and benchmark. Run through that. going to be fun to compare these scores. I'm actually wondering if the M1 Mac Mini is going to blow it out of the water or not be that far ahead. Apple, you might be getting my Mac Mini back. I don't know yet though. All right, so let's change it and do the metal score. I'm going to be keeping my 2018 Mac Mini if this M1 Mac Mini is not killing it. That is for sure. All right. Almost there. All right. 21,596 for a metal score. All right. So now let's go down, check out the metal performance breakout, and check out the comparison between these devices. If we go all the way down to the bottom, you're gonna see that the M1 kills it. It's faster with boot, it's faster with write speed, it's faster with read speed, everything is faster. If you're looking for another benchmark, definitely check out one of these other videos. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and uh, I can't wait to see you in the next video. Take care.